Okay, right out of the gate. Easy. Blue, eyes on me. Where are you going? Blue, hold. Blue, hey. Focus, please. Okay, okay. And we're moving. Come on, girl. Easy. Good, good girl. As you can see, a very feisty alpha female. You do not want to make her. Stay there, girl. Easy, easy, easy. Calm. Calm down. Easy. Come over. Paisley. Hi, Paisley. Have you ever met a raptor before? No? Would you like to get a little closer? You don't have to. Hey, hey, hey. I completely understand. I don't like getting close to her either. She stinks. Can we take your picture, Paisley? Is that okay? She's, she just ate. She just ate. So you're fine. The first guest is always a slightly needy girl. Good girl. Oh, she's real calm. Paisley, look how calm she is. You must have a really, really great energy. Raptors always stay calm around other alpha females like yourself and your sister. Do you want to touch her on the nose? Don't get wet. She, she's got snibbles. Good job, Paisley. Good job. Even I can't do that. I don't know how this is happening. Paisley, you must be an alpha female. Can I have an high five? Yes! Round of applause for Paisley, ladies and gentlemen. She did so All good. Right. You come over, girl. Sweater. I've ever seen. Yes. Blue has met some other dinosaurs like our Triceratops. I don't know if she's ever seen a Stegosaurus like this before. Are you scared? Not scared at all. Oh, she's even trying to handle the dinosaur. <gasps> what is going on? This never happens. Excellent work. You passed. You passed the alpha female test. Yes. Can we take a photo? Yes. Me Oh, she's doing the claw! I hope that doesn't make Blue angry. She's really interested in you. It's that beautiful nurturing quality that raptors do have, despite their tendency to be all fine. Good girl, Blue. She's calm. Did you get that on video? It's going to be great to share with the family to sell in the Ah, Blue. Take it easy. Take it easy. Good girl. Are you scared? You're leaving. That's good. Did you guys want to take a picture all together? Her. Yeah. She's trying to challenge you for the alpha position. You don't back down. You look her in the eye and you say, I am the alpha female. Okay. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Easy blue. Easy. Oh, not too close, not too close. Oh, not too close. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you almost beat me. You have no idea how close you came. Actually, uh, the signs of agitation are you ready? Easy, Blue. Take it easy. Take it easy, girl. And sometimes this happens, folks, and we need to just give her some space. Trust me. Oh, okay. To say anything, but your blue mic actually looks like a small mouse. She eats mice. Back, girl. Back. <laughs> Down. Good girl. Hold. Okay, okay, let's move this along as soon as possible. I look way too loud for you, sorry. Because she could eat you. <laughs> oh, a challenge, a challenge. Don't, she might eat you and I might lose my job. Is that a baby in there? Shh. She's sleeping? I'm not worried about the baby. It's appetizer size to the dinosaurs. Observation zone. I've seen her attack this area before. Okay, okay. Let's not test her any further. This doesn't look special. This looks like what you're supposed to do. Yes. That's good. That's good technique. Look, look a baby dinosaur. Let's use Tango. Tango. She's our baby dinosaur. This is incredible technique. Look how adorable it is. Over this way, over this way. Watch this, watch this. This is incredible. 
This is proof. Proof, I say. The Velociraptors are not just killing machines, they're also nurturing mothers. Isn't it adorable? It's adorable. Thank you, Milo and Tango. I don't, I don't, oh, Milo, Milo. Remember the last time someone got too close with their hand? Excellent. Do you know this guy? Hey, she's gonna protect you. She's got all the handler skills worked out. Good blue. <coughs> Sir, need I remind you, she is a man-eating knife. <coughs> oh, oh. Let's get your picture together. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for your participation. The best part of this is nobody got eaten. <coughs> Eyes on me. Hey, 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 hey. Good girl. Good girl. Back it up. Good. Good girl, Blue. Go on. They can deal with wet, um, but they, you know, they love the warmth just like everything else. Yeah. Uh, you notice that she kind of ignores things. Uh, people say, does she pose for pictures? And it's like, well, she stands there and you can take a picture, but, you know, for her, cameras are a non-entity because they're not, they don't smell like anything. Uh, the other thing, too, uh, Unless it covers the that is... And bacon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other thing, uh, Especially with hunting, uh, they do have a highly developed sense of smell and hearing. Um, so one thing they're also listening for are heartbeats, which I usually don't tell the kids because that freaks them out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so she could be a service animal. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, one of the things that hopefully we'll be able to train her in as she gets older is a search and rescue. How old is she? She's five months old. Five right months. Now. Yeah, well, she's in between five and six. Five and six. Yeah. Okay. And uh, were you able to see Blue earlier? I was. That was fantastic. So Blue's three years old. Okay. So you can see the difference in size between a more or less full-grown raptor and uh, a baby. Yeah. When she hatched about five months ago, she was able to fit right in my hand. Really? Yeah. So. <laughs> Whoa, what are you looking at? Yeah. Say hello. Hi, guys. So how much time on average do you spend with her, I guess, maybe since birth, a week? Like, like uh, how so do you get this comfort level? I've been with her since she hatched, okay. uh, which is really important. Um, we like to have all of our raptors have experience with handlers from the moment they are born. Um, so they bind them. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's important not just to imprint on individuals, but also to uh, expose her to, hey guys, you can come on in. Uh, just expose her to people in general. Because uh, like we said, as she gets older, she's going to be potentially used for search and rescue. Um, and we really want to reinforce uh, just the comfort level with people in general. You want to see her teeth? Yes, absolutely. Yeah? All right, hey, Tango, can we open? Can we open, please? <laughs> That's, sorry. <laughs> open, please. Oh, wow. So she's actually got 83 teeth right now as of this morning. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the 84th is growing in. Um, interestingly enough, uh, Kind of like sharks, velociraptors are equipped with rows of teeth that are going to grow in their whole life, uh, which is a, an adaptation that basically kept them alive. Because as you can imagine, being a ripping and tearing eater, they use their teeth, they're very rough on them, so they can lose teeth, you know, like you and I eat M&Ms. Uh, wow. And uh, you know, if they had baby teeth and adult teeth and that's it, they wouldn't survive. Mm. So, uh, yeah, she's actually got a more or less endless supply of teeth that's going to be filling in her whole life. That's incredible. Yeah, thank you very wow. much. That works. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing us Tango. Oh, of course, yeah, thank, nice. you. thank you. Uh, did you guys get to see her? Bye. No, you want to see her?